You know, a loose electrical outlet like this can be a real annoyance and in some cases a safety hazard. Now I'm going to show you several easy ways to fix this problem. Now this is important. Before you start work on any electrical project, you want to make sure that the power has been shut off. To ensure that the power is off, check the outlet with a circuit tester or an electric appliance. Then go ahead and remove the cover plate. An electrical receptacle is designed to be securely attached to an electrical box inside the wall and held firmly in place with screws. Sometimes though, these screws are not tight, allowing the outlet to move around inside the box. The solution here is to tighten the screws that hold the outlet in place. In other cases, the problem is that the electrical box is set too deeply in the wall. Tightening the outlet to the box would cause it to be recessed from the cover plate. To correct this, the screws are sometimes left intentionally loose in order to permit the outlet and cover plate to be flush. This, however, allows the receptacle to move around. The solution to this problem is using spacers. Uh, this is one type of spacer. It comes in a long strip like this, and you can actually fold these like this to come up with whatever thickness you really need. In our case, it's not recessed very much, so we're just going to use one of these, and we cut that off using a pair of scissors. Now the first thing we're going to want to do here is loosen the screws, both top and bottom. And then drop our spacer in between the outlet and the box. Now, another type of spacer that we could use is this plastic tubing. This is actually made specifically for this uh, use, and it's available online. Now, these come in a lot of different lengths. Sometimes you can just grab one that's already in the package. In our case, we're going to cut one of these off because we only need about an eighth of an inch here, just like that. And this will be our spacer. To install this tubular spacer, I'm backing out the screws completely, slipping the spacer over the end, and then tightening the screws. Notice that the outlet is now flush with the cover plate and stable. Now sometimes electrical boxes are recessed so far into the wall you really can't use spacers. Now that can happen if you put an extra layer of wallboard on a wall, if you put tile on a backsplash, or install wainscoting. So, let's see how to deal with this. This is a box extender. After pulling the receptacle out of the box, slip the extender over the outlet and into the opening. When it's in place, reinstall and tighten the screws and replace the outlet cover. On occasion, an unstable receptacle can be the result of a loose electrical box inside the wall. This problem can be solved without opening up the wall by using a wall plate spacer like this. Just loosen the outlet screws, slip the spacer plate behind the receptacle, tighten the screws, and replace the cover. Armed with these solutions, loose and wiggling electrical outlets can become a thing of the past.